Hello, this is Karen Farnsworth of Wildflower Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you circular array feature in Creative Studio 7. To demonstrate circular array today, I'm going to be using a set of patterns that I've just created with a really long but descriptive name. It's called the Equilateral Triangle and Diamond Set. It's a set of 19 designs um, with different styles in triangles and diamond shapes. So let's go choose one of these designs. I'm going to start with Growing Equilateral Triangle, this one right here. I'm going to drag that to the screen. Make sure it's selected and then go up to the Circular Array icon. Now if the Circular Array icon doesn't show on your tool strip at the top of your CS7, you can put it there by customizing your tool strip. I'm going to click on Circular Array and see how cool fast that works. CS gives me the default four repeats in a 90 degree setting. But I want to see this design in with six repeats. So I'm going to come over here and just increase the number of repeats to six. It all happens dynamically while I'm watching. And we have kind of a cool uh, ring there that we can work with. But the effect that I am looking for today is more of a hexagon or a rounder shaped block. So um, in order to move these designs, we can grab this center blue circle and move that around. But I need to first uncheck connect so that CS will let go of those endpoints and let me move all of those points independently. So now I'm going to move that center point up to the top of my design. Maybe move in and scroll in and bring it back together. And when I like the look, I click OK and it places those designs. Kind of a cool, almost a snowflake design. OK, let's try another one. I'm going to use pumpkin seed equilateral triangle. Bring that over. Go up to Circular Array and click on that icon. And then I can uncheck Connect so that I can drag those patterns to the position I want them. I can scroll in as close as I need to to make sure I get those endpoints really close. This is a point-to-point -point design, so it will stitch continuously as long as I connect those ends. When I'm pretty happy with that layout, I can click OK. Now if I do want this pattern to stitch continuously, I need to use Nodes Mode and my Endpoint Snap to make sure that I connect each of those. Just pull it over until each one snaps. And then they will all be connected and it will stitch as one design. Okay, let's try just one more. I'm going to use Royal Equilateral Triangle, bring it over the screen. But this time, before I set it up in Circular Array, I'm going to flip it vertically. So I'm going to right click, choose Flip Vertically, and now it has changed the orientation of that design so that the start and end points are at the top. Now because Creative Studio 7 sets the array below the pattern that's selected, I'm hoping that it's going to set it up with those endpoints connected already. So let's choose that pattern. It's selected. Choose Circular Array. Exactly what we were looking for. Because those repeats came in below that original design, Creative Studio kept everything connected as a default. And that pattern is already ready to stitch continuously. Tell it OK. Very cool. Now let's use some diamonds to make some star blocks. I want to start with this design called Gold Diamond. I'm going to drag that to the screen and go up and grab my circular array icon. Uncheck Connect. 
and drag that center blue circle to place those patterns in a star shape. Click OK to tell it it did a good job. Now how cool is that? That's a great start to a whole cloth quilt right there. Let's try another one. How about a feather? Feathers are always popular. Here's feathered grid. I'm going to drag it over. Circular array icon. Now if I get this warning here, press cancel, then select only one pattern on quilt group, I just need to click off of my design, click back on to highlight it or select it, and CS performs that function. Uncheck that connect, and drag those patterns to where I want them. Click OK. I like it. Pretty cool. Let's do one more star using Lines Diamond. Let me move these things over, drag Line to the screen, Lines Diamond, click on Circular Array icon, boom, that one went in just perfectly. Now the reason for that is because the start and the end of this design, see Lines Diamond? The start and the end are at the points there, the connection points to make that diamond shape. So that one was easy. I didn't have to set any placement at all. And that is a really cool design. Makes great texture on a quilt. Click OK. Did a good job. Here are some other examples of blocks that can be made from this set using Creative Studio 7's Circular Array feature. Now it's your turn to go out and explore all of the options and see what you can do with Creative Studio 7. Enjoy!